Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. Another beautiful day after an absolutely gorgeous Memorial Day weekend. Uh, today, high of 88 with mm. sunshine. Uh, last I looked, it was 60 degrees this morning. Yesterday's high 81, and it's going to be near 90 all week Great. through Sunday. Summer's here. Mm -hmm. Summer's officially here. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll have the Selby track meet tonight, which uh, we, we were hoping for 70 degrees, but 86 uh, will be yeah. will be uh, fun, will be uh, will be great. So the Selby, it won't be live. We'll have that for you uh, this weekend, hopefully. But yeah, just uh, too long an, of an event to do the entire thing live. So we'll mm -hmm. have that for you on uh, the Yeah, a lot of time between the events. A lot uh, of time, yes. Yeah, so should be, uh, mm -hmm. should be, uh, a fun time though we love the selby mm -hmm. so yeah um i was up north and weather i don't know if we'll get another <laughs> weekend like we did it was just amazing spectacular yeah we went up to kind of the traverse city area ella brought her friend ava this time and we brought our dogs so it was fun it was just a classic family vacation what was the the crowd like traffic and so on yeah it was fine really yeah it's all mm -hmm. much ado about nothing i think just depends on when you leave. These kids would not get off the water. All we did was tube. All we did was tube. Hmm. It was fun. Did you actually go in the water yourself? I did, but not on the tube um, because I had to be the driver of the boat. Hmm. So it was a lot of fun. Weather perfect. Yeah, and traffic was fine. You know, we went downtown Traverse City and um, yeah, it was manageable. Very manageable. Stores still close early on Sunday though, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we took our dogs, one likes water, one does not. And uh, yeah, it was fun. Wow, Too like much fun, really. Dogs had a blast. And there's our traditional family picture. We've been going <laughs> to this place for probably about eight years now. Oh really? Which is, yeah. Nice. So yeah, that's what I did. What a beautiful state we live in. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are so lucky. Mm -hmm. So uh, lucky. We, um, while you were up north, uh, everybody that was here in Jackson had plenty to do. It was a record cruise night on Friday night. The biggest cruise night in cruise night history. Ever. Ever. Mm -hmm. uh, thousands and thousands of people in downtown Jackson. Checking there's out. A, the, there's uh, a few of them. Yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah, it was unbelievable. <clears throat> Food trucks, band entertainment now with the new social district opened up did you notice people taking advantage of that yes yes perfect and that's what people, this is designed for yep yeah. a lot of people walking around at the social district Look at that. uh even outside the social district well that's fine you don't really know where it's it is fine. it's not a big deal what are people gonna do it's not that big of a deal yeah. Ooh, look at that i gosh i want a classic car so bad <laughs> what would you what would be your dream classic car uh like a 69 mustang oh yeah i would like a uh, volkswagen uh either a volkswagen beetle or a uh, volkswagen uh vanagon like that not that one what's that what's that one mean that's a modern uh volkswagen bus i don't know that was some military they thing. look uh they could be storm chasers could be. He was driving around later, and I don't know where he was going. I think he was. I think he was wearing a tinfoil hat. I think he had a gun on his hip. I don't know. What, I don't know what it is. Hmm. Uh, on Saturday we had. Oh my gosh, a lot, of go, a lot going on. Downtown uh, Planting Day at the uh, MLK Center. Grow Jackson hosting this uh, annual event. And it looks like the planting and growing season is well underway. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Very good. And it was also Southside Summerfest on Saturday afternoon at Elnora Mormon Park. DJs spinning the tunes while black uh, artists were uh, celebrated. A lot of various artists displaying their wares and a lot of food. Very cool. Part of, uh, Very cool. Very cool. This is part Summerfest. of the uh, Southside Summerfest summer series mm -hmm. that uh, will take place all summer long. Oh, we know that young man, Brandon, don't we? We do, yeah. He's yeah. A video with him. Yeah, he, uh, 
He's one of the Northwest uh, students that is helping Vista Grand Villas Technology Center. So, nice young man. Yeah, the Northwest Robotics team actually was at uh, Henry Ford Robotics on Friday night. Cool. Learning from Dr. Kulkarni how the Da Vinci robots can uh, perform surgery. Cool. It's amazing. Uh, it is, uh, it's summer camp season. Like, mm -hmm. summer camp season is here. I want to tell you about a few coming up. There's a few golf, uh, golf ones for youth golf leagues. Ella Sharp will have one and Cascades. So if you'd like to get your uh, little one signed up for golf, this is a great way to do it. Um, mm -hmm. Both Ella Sharp and Cascades have wonderful instructors and it is low pressure, but a great way to get involved in the game. Uh, Jackson College and Spring Arbor also have a full slate of summer sports camps. And the Al Glick Youth Football Camp is coming up on June 17th, so you want to sign up for that. That is the camp of the year in Jackson County. Mm -hmm. should, be, uh, should be wonderful. Former uh, NFL college players, current college players, and it is for all Jackson County kids entering 4th through ninth grade next fall. So sign up. It's June 17th. Also, the Jackson County Health Department has a summer camp for youth, and they take field trips, and it's a fun summer. They do it all summer long. I got you a gift. Oh. Yeah, I brought you two gifts. <laughs> okay. First okay. gift is these, because we're always talking about stupid oh, things. Yeah. This was on, I think it was on Real or Not. It might have been on yeah. Real or Not, yeah, so I actually found it. So it is Which real. is interesting because cra it is, has craft label. Hmm. Craft label. You and then I know that. you like pencils, so I get you a pencil. Oh, nice. A pencil like a, I guess it's shaped like a cigarette. Very good. Yes. You were able to identify what this was. Yeah, nice. so I've sharpened one. Oh. So I've sharpened one. Uh, so you can see. It's like a golf course. Yeah, um, they, I got them for my golf friends. And I gave one to Noah. He, he ate his on accident. <laughs> um, yeah, but thanks for the gifts. I, ooh, a lot of feedback in my ear just now. Mm. Um, yeah, so novelty. Did you go to that uh, candy store in downtown Trevor City? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. It's amazing. I did. Yeah. I brought back uh, candy cigarettes for everyone, too. So. Also yesterday uh, was the it was Memorial Day, and we had uh, celebrations all throughout Jackson County. We have a lot of parades. Concord, Brooklyn, Spring Arbor, Clark Lake, Grass Lake, and Jackson, among those with parades. And the fire departments erected the giant flag between the uh, two tower uh, trucks to start the uh, parade. There's Sounds like there's a parade out front. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, Joel Shaner, this is not his last appearance. No, it was not. No, he's got the Rose Parade coming up on Sunday. And I asked him, will there be a ceremonial passing of the baton? And he said, yes, that's already occurred. It happens from one drum major to next year's drum major. Nice, very good. But Joel's um, last concert in the auditorium at Jackson High was his uh, farewell concert. Awesome. We had a uh, kind of busy end of the week. It's just busy for me right now with this end of uh, sixth grade stuff going on. We had May Procession on Friday. Mm -hmm. Were you at that? I was that was there. fun. Yeah, yeah I, I have one picture of me and Ella. And that's where they, like, you know, dance the kids off into seventh grade. So we did that. Do they have that? Is well, it like sixth grade graduation? Well, I mean, it's, they process, I mean, that's kind of what it is. Oh. So that was afterwards. But yeah, so this week they go on an overnight camp. Uh, Thursday night they go on an overnight camp at Camp Kimball. Do you know where that is? Camp Kimball. It's a YMCA camp. It is. Yeah. yeah. I don't I think know it's where. It's over it. by Kalamazoo. Is it? I think oh. so. Um, Stephanie is going as a camp counselor. Mm -hmm. So I'm anxious to hear how that goes. Nice. So, yeah. A lot of uh, high school graduations uh, underway. We had graduations on Thursday. Uh, Friday, uh, they continue, and also Saturday, uh, it's wedding season, but more graduations this weekend, Rose Parade on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, the busy summer is, is here. It for sure did, is. Did you do a um, senior prank in your uh, last No, we were school? warned that if you did that, you would not graduate, mm. and they, uh, they said it with a serious voice, so <laughs> we believe them. Yeah, no, no senior prank for me. How about you? 
Uh, no, we were also warned. But students at a Maryland high school did a uh, senior prank. They listed the high school for sale <laughs> on Zillow for $42,069. The 12,458-square-foot Mead High School was described as a half-working jail. All 15 bathrooms come with sewage issues. Huh. The listing also said there is a nice spacious kitchen and dining room with a private basketball court. The property comes with complimentary trash, scented air freshener, and water issues. Very nice. School officials said, um, nope, the high school is not for sale, and if it was, it'd be a lot more money. And uh, students did not get in trouble because Good. it was a harmless plant prank. That was that is harmless. Yep. Very harmless. Completely, no nobody was injured. Uh, Private basketball court. Wow, that is a that's a the gym, uh, the gym. PG prank. <laughs> yeah. Very good prank. Spring Arbor has a uh, another national championship group. This time the men's four by eight. They won the uh, national championship. That's the thirteenth. Uh, track and field national championship for the Cougars. So that's uh, that's awesome. Four by eight national championship, first individual national title in men's track and field, and I think about ten years. So that's very cool. Congratulations to the men's four by eight squad at SAU. Awesome. You know, you mentioned uh, Selby tonight. People are welcome to come watch that. Oh yeah, yeah. we yeah. Uh, Please come watch. Watch the area's best uh, athletes and uh, runners. It should be a great event. Yes, it should be a wonderful event. You'll be able event. to see, uh, for many people, it'll be the first time you'll experience the brand new concession stands and restrooms. And field. And field. Yeah, right? it everything's looks great. brand new. Yeah. Brand new uh, turf, brand new everything. I I'm, I'm assume that the uh, Al Glick, the Glick will be open uh, for people to go in and take a look the indoor practice facility. I would assume that would be open. But yeah, there'll be a lot of uh, a lot of students on campus over at Jackson tonight that uh, probably didn't even know that that Al Glick facility was built. Yeah. So that'll be a uh, that'll be a nice surprise for those for those athletes and coaches that haven't been paying attention. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what a wonderful facility uh, back at Jackson High after a few years at East Jackson. Um, so we had COVID couple years at East Jackson and then this group of seniors tonight they were freshmen um, during COVID so they missed their spring season yeah. their freshman year. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, the Miami Heat beat the Celtics Thank in goodness. Game 7. Thank and goodness. It just was prolonged it was probably likely to happen. Well I'm just glad it did um, because I don't like Boston that much. And Las Vegas this is back in the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, they've only been in the NHL for six years. Two years they've been in the Stanley Cup. How's that work? I don't know. It's amazing. Hardly seems fair. You went to uh, Dr. Penn's 30th anniversary party on Friday too, mm -hmm. didn't you? I did. I yeah. hated to miss that. I was, uh, I was out of town. Sounds like we have an anniversary party in the front lobby today <laughs> as well. Um, so tell me a little bit about, first of all, I can't believe Dr. Penn has been practicing chiropractic for 30 years. Well, you know he what? looks 39. That's what I said to him. I said, I bet a lot of people say, you don't look old enough to have been practicing 30 years. And he said, yes, I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him that every day, he every does. time I see him. Yeah. But uh, they had uh, zero bar for uh, refreshments and a uh, charcuterie company. I, I think their name is actually uh, something charcuterie, like Grand Charcuterie. Okay. So they had a giant charcuterie uh, spread, and all those remodeled offices were open, and of course it was uh, beautiful weather. Awesome. Yeah. Like Lauren, Lauren so and fun. I have the same pair of tennis shoes, so we try not mm -hmm. to wear them at the same time. There's Doc Penn. Yeah, very, uh, I said, are you um, hoping for 30 more years? And he said, yes. I think he could do yeah. it. Yeah, I think he can. And the giant scissors. Very nice. Family. That uh, that corner looks wonderful with Crimson Oak and Pan, uh, ABC Bakery back there. A lot of good things happening mm -hmm. over in that uh, that area off Horton yes. Road. So very cool. Yeah, Kelly Express. Of course. Prime of course. Cuts. 
Hot, so, hot little uh, neighborhood. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I've always thought it could be a walkable little neighborhood if we could get some sidewalks in there. There's no sidewalks. No. No sidewalks from uh, Weatherwax um, South. Yeah, eventually. There should be something. I think there'll be sidewalks in there eventually. Someday. Eventually. Uh, mark your calendars. The Jackson County Blues Fest presented by M&K. That's coming up, believe it or not, June 8th, 9th, and 10th. So very, very quickly. So put that on your calendar. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't even believe it's one. It's, is location. today the 30th of May already? Yep, one Jeez. more day after today. Okay, it's just $10 per day at the gate. Kids 12 and under are free, so it's a wonderful uh, family-friendly event to uh, to go to. Mm -hmm. And I know Cindy, uh, Cindy has been here promoting the event. Um, she works so hard on this. It's going to be Yeah, it's going to be, be a great, great. event. Uh, while we were celebrating Memorial Day in the United States and Great Britain, they were celebrating the big cheese. The big cheese of extreme UK sports events is back. Hundreds of spectators get or, gathered on uh, Monday for the chance to win this wheel of cheese. I love this game. Yes, this was the prize. They set this three pound wheel of cheese it's double Gloucester cheese at the top of the hill, and the first person to finish behind the fast rolling cheese gets to keep it. That's the prize. Look at those heathens. <laughs> this event has been going on since 1826. That looks fun. But the sport of cheese rolling is believed to be even older going back even further than Everyone looks so awful. Yes, this, it did have its uh, share of incidents, and there were a number of people hospitalized. But other than that... It looks good. A looks great fun. Time we should do that here at uh, Cascades. <laughs> do a little cheese roll. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we could get people to enter. Racing for just a, a wheel of cheese. And of course, the cheese is all grimy and muddy at the end of the... It's still, three, still three pounds of cheese. Mm -hmm. Uh, today's show is brought to you by Heather Herndon and the entire Herndon team at Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. And each week, Heather reminds us why it's great living here in Jackson. And this week, Heather is telling us about Nevermore Decor. Your destination for gifts, seasonal decor, and home furnishings has moved. Stop by their expanded space and selection for a more relaxed shopping experience. 143 East Michigan Ave in there, open Monday through Saturday. 10 to 6, thanks to Heather Herndon and the entire Herndon team at Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. Should we uh, go out to the Sky Cam? If you insist. I do. It looks wonderful out there. Gosh, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Brandon, can you identify that church? Uh, I cannot. Well, we'll just wait here until you can. It begins with Saint. It begins with Saint. Saint Mary's. And ends with John's. Saint John's. Very good. Very good, Brandon. Very, very good. So we are looking north, north of Jackson. Wonderful day today. Again, high of 88. Thanks to Hometown Heating, Cooling, and more. Visit heatandcoolwithus.com. Uh, State Farm has stopped selling new home insurance policies in California. Hmm because of the fires. Really? The yes. fires are back? The fires. So they won't uh, cancel anybody, but they won't sell any new homeowners insurance in California. Uh, just State Farm. Just State Farm. Yeah. But like a goodish neighbor, they'll still uh, insure your car. Very nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice of them. I hope your car doesn't get affected by the, uh, the fire. Who's on the show today? We have a wonderful show. We are going to get things started with two teachers of the year from Jackson Public Schools right after this oh. break. You never think about a good tow truck service until you really need one. Jimmy's Towing and Auto Repair in Jackson will be there for you in a flash. Our technologically advanced GPS software enables us to pinpoint your location and dispatch the closest truck to assist you in no time. Jimmy's has the largest towing and rescue truck fleet in the area, and we have the right equipment for any towing need. When you need help in a flash, call Jimmy's. 
Jimmy's Towing and Repair in Jackson. Collins Brothers Floor Covering has been serving the Jackson community for over 80 years. We specialize in residential and commercial projects and offer a full range of flooring materials from carpet to luxury vinyl. With endless colors, styles, and patterns to choose from, we can complement the look of any room. Quality products at the best value and customer satisfaction are guaranteed when you choose Collins Brothers Floor Covering. Contact Collins Brothers Floor Covering and see how we can personalize your project today. If you're looking for a high quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER trained providers believe high quality care is for everyone, so we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. Our new Express Oil Changes and More building has been a huge success. Not only do we have the best oil change prices, we top off fluids and do a 33-point inspection. All while you enjoy fresh-baked cookies, coffee, and popcorn in our new lounge. This month is our Jeep Freedom Day sales event with special pricing on all new Jeeps. Stop out to Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson, just off I-94, exit 141, or online at ExtremeDodge.com. Are you struggling with your mental health? We can help at Michigan Psychological Care, located in Jackson, Michigan. We are here to help strengthen your relationships, your interpersonal connections, and help you find yourself. With options of individual therapy, family and couples, group counseling, psychological evaluations, we are here to help with all your mental health needs. Contact us today to live the life you've always dreamed. Today's show is brought to you by the Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill. They are located at 3705 Ann Arbor Road. You may recognize them as the uh, Old Tom's Grill or Azalea, but check them out. Under new ownerships, they have a daily special new breakfast and Bloody Mary bar on Sunday and banquet space available for rent as well. Uh, Pause in the Park, coming up, presented by Lammers Heating and Air Conditioning. Save the date, June 3rd. They have a 5K run and fun for the whole family, the ultimate air dog experience, food, vendors, activities, and uh, should be a wonderful day. Pause in the Park, presented by Lammers Heating and Air Conditioning. Next on the show, we have two of our area top teachers from this year's Top Teacher Awards, the two Jackson Public School teachers. Ray Savicki and Jonelle Hasselbeck Zenker. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good Thank morning. You. Thanks yeah. for having us. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, Ray, if I remember correctly, you were a teacher's worst nightmare in high school. Yes, I was. So That's how, part of the reason why I became Is a, that why you became a teacher? That's I mean, I always liked having fun in, in yeah. the class. So yeah. you know, I wanted to keep the good times going. Yeah. So. What year were you? you two thousand. You were two thousand and I was yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. You probably don't remember this, but we had a, a boxing match. I do remember the do boxing match. Do you remember that? We got in trouble. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> you you had the best of me. So did I? Yeah, know. we had a. Oh, no. I uh, brought Mike, the gloves. Mike Ramker. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they uh, would allow that. <laughs> they yeah, would allow, no, it was not condoned they by the school. They wouldn't allow uh, free boxing uh, yeah. in gym class. But yeah. but yeah, it's amazing how your experience as a, as a kid affect your uh, yeah. career. Um, how, how how does your how did that experience kind of affect how growing up how how you teach and work with kids today? Um, well, I uh, I kind of picked and choose from you know the teachers that we had and you know the the fun teachers, mm -hmm. engaging teachers, and kind of modeled it after that, yeah. and you know kind of did that. So, who was your fun teacher? Uh, Mrs. Burgess. I had, did you have Burgess? I did. Yeah, yeah she was our religion teacher at Lumen, and she was, she was the, a, absolutely one of my favorites and one of the reasons why I became one, so. And you both are uh, a lot of your students' favorite teachers, which means you guys are, are doing something right. Janelle, tell, tell us a little bit about uh, what classes you teach and uh, what you like about your job. So I teach um, in our special ed department with our MOSI mm -hmm. students. And our students just learn at a whole entire different level. Right. And they are a lot of fun. 
and you never know what's going to happen on a day-to-day -day basis. And even though academics are important, we focus on just coming to school and making sure we have a safe spot and um, getting through the day mm -hmm. with different things that take place. I noticed one of the things you like to do, Janelle, is give your students uh, the same experience that all the other students in Jackson yes. School do. Yes. Like the prom and yes. it's so a lot we, of work. It is a lot of work. So we make sure, and you bring up prom, but our students really don't understand what prom is. They, they've heard of prom, but they don't know what prom is like a normal student or a, t a typical student would. Mm -hmm. So you really have to explain prom to them and how it works. And a lot of them will say that they don't want to go to prom because they don't mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. that you can go to prom without a date and you can go to prom and we will make sure it happens. Oh yeah, and a lot of kids mm -hmm. go to prom nowadays without dates. Oh, for just sure. Going right. with friends. For sure. No. Group dates. So in that, the picture that you just shared, I don't know if um, th these are my Spring Arbor students. So I also teach at Spring Arbor and they're all future special education teachers. Awesome. Mm -hmm. What got you into special education? I think it really like, goes back to, I, I had a cousin that had Down syndrome okay. and I took care of her when she was little. And then in third grade, I really remember having students that were in our classroom that were in for inclusion. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I just started helping, and I kind of disappeared and started spending my lunches down in their classroom with mm -hmm. them. And that's kind of where I felt I needed to be. I believe you were teach, uh, one of the top teachers in a previous year, too, weren't you? Yes. Don't ask 17, me 17 consecutive years. That's all <laughs> I say. Ray, what, uh, what, what classes do, do you teach at Jackson? At Jackson High, I teach forensic science and oceanography. Awesome. Yep. What kind of science? Forensic science. Forensic science. I would, so I would struggle. Crime scenes and stuff. Oh, that's fine. There's, I mean, you go on to Netflix, you can yeah. find, you know, 30 shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the kids really like it. It's fun to teach. It teaches itself. Got some of uh, the photos from uh, things happening in your... Question. Yeah, that's that's the bait club. We started a, a debate club this year. Oh, and fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, in that picture right there, that's they're doing a blood drop experiment where they see how the blood drop, um, when it hits uh, different types of surfaces, how it changes. Um, not real blood. How many, years, I, how many years have you been? Uh, at Jackson High, I've, it's, this is my fourth year. Wow. So, I started right before the pandemic. So. Wow. I got a, I had a few months in there, and then the pandemic hit, and then it was all virtual. <laughs> it seems, um, Ray, just from you know watching you on social media, you really, you really, really love your job. Oh, I love it! I love it. Yep. You started um, at Tomlinson, yeah, right? Yep. With, uh, at, at a risk, pretty much at, at risk. Yep. Students. Alternative students. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm glad I did. You know, it kind of teaches you what works and what doesn't, mm -hmm. and how to reach all the kids because yeah. you know the kids that attend there are coming from all walks of life. Um, that's my oceanography class. Um, we brought in scuba divers. It's hard to figure out like hands-on things in oceanography. Yeah. So I always wanted to do scuba diving. So that's luckily cool. we had divers masks come in and take the kids in and that was a blast. I, I think you guys had a, a special on it. Yeah. It came, it came and videoed it. The amount of experiences these kids get in school nowadays is just amazing mm -hmm. right. you know it's it's not just a field trip over to the zoo anymore is right. it yeah and i mean especially with the technology that we have yeah i mean you can do virtual field trips to china if you wanted to yeah, yeah in fact both of you provide a lot of photos that are in the classroom you do a lot of your education uh, on the road or in other parts of the building or uh, mm -hmm. outdoors sounds like uh, kids in your classes um, probably enjoy those uh, extra treats. I hope so. I hope so. Janelle, was there a teacher that uh, you had that so influenced you? In third grade, I had <coughs> Mrs. Hirschman. A lot of people know Mrs. Betty Hirschman. She's passed away now, mm -hmm. but she was wonderful. And then in early college, which at the top mm -hmm. teacher dinner, I acknowledged Mary Belknap because mm -hmm. I had Mary Belknap as one of my first education mm -hmm. classes, and she just still is remarkable yeah. and I love that we still cross paths. Yeah, yeah Mary Bell Naples, a lot of people's favorite oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had her at JC. Uh, <coughs> awesome. yeah. yeah. 
How about uh, how about some favorite teachers that you have to work with? Because I know it's it's teamwork at uh, JPS. Who are who are some of your favorite? Well, uh, I'll ask you both I, teachers to work with. I I mean I love my hallway. Yeah. So I work in the foreign language hallway, and they're just it's just the best hallway. Wendy Adams teaches next to me, and she is probably. She's just unique and special in so many ways, and um, she's just great. And Raquel Rodriguez, oh, yeah. if you, you walk, walk by you... her room, there's always something great going like, on. She teaches Spanish. Uh -huh. It's like you're taking a trip into and Mexico then, every and day. And Janie Mendez, another Spanish teacher who there's, there's mm. just, it's, it's a fun hallway to cool. work in. And then, of course, my team that I work with, because we have, there's three CI teachers, Mr. Kevin Michael, and he's retiring. That's going to be yeah. a big adjustment for us and Aaron Wright. Mm -hmm. And my small little team, we couldn't do it without yeah. our team, because we are a small family, and we just work together and make things happen. Ray, with uh, being a forensic science teacher, do you watch uh, things like CSI and Criminal Minds? And Not as much as I used to. You know, teaching it every day, you know, that type of stuff. It, you get home and you kind of want to do something else. Mm -hmm. But um, the kids recommend a lot of uh, shows that they watch, like the whole Dahmer series. Oh, yeah. Kind of got into that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, Not as much as I used to. But I was always interested in it, you know, just crime science and crime scenes in general. So. Cool. It's interesting. And your work isn't done. You want to keep uh, keep at it. In fact, you want to uh, introduce a peer-to-peer -peer program. Right. So we had one with the National Honor Society when Pam Norhaugen was there, and it went really well. And then we had COVID, and then we need to bring it back. So there's there's some ideals there to bring. And I don't know if we'll call it the Lynx program because a lot of surrounding schools have Lynx. Um, we'll probably come up with our own special mm -hmm. name for it to make it unique and. J high. You got it. Belong here. Belong with us. Yeah. Well, this last uh, last few days of school with the temperature in the upper 80s. Uh, Man, we were just we were just talking <laughs> yeah. about summer. our hot classrooms. <laughs> teachers, do teachers get uh, senioritis too or summeritis? <laughs> yes. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We were ready to get out. Too. It's a yeah. struggle now because our seniors are gone. We, we were just talking right, about yeah. this too, that there's kind of, there's an emptiness. So we have right. our other students that you still want to do great things with these last two weeks, but they are learning to adjust without the seniors too. So there's just yeah. an adjustment period. Well, uh, we'll hope you guys have a, uh, a wonderful summer. Well-deserved a uh, little Thank bit you. of time off. I know it's not, it's not all fun and games in the summer for you guys, but uh, congratulations <laughs> uh, on, uh, on the awards and well-deserved. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Teachers of the Year, Jonelle Hasselbeck and Ray Savicki from Jackson Public Schools. More of the morning show right after this. With over 16,000 completed Sonneborn smiles, Dr. Sonneborn is the most experienced orthodontist in the region. We work hand in hand with every dental practice for your convenience and confidence. The staff of Dr. Sonneborn's office is trained to provide efficient, high quality care. We strive to make each and every visit as pleasant as possible, working towards your dream smile. We take pride in our training and the care we provide is second to none. Visit our welcoming staff and atmosphere, where we focus not only on teeth, but faces and smiles too. Over 30 years as Jackson's most experienced and trusted orthodontist. Visit us today at 1415 West Argyle Street in Jackson, or our second location in Battle Creek. Do you do landscaping? Yes, we do. Our landscaping is creative and innovative. We'll make sure your yard is beautiful. Do you do irrigation systems? Yes, our irrigation systems are top of the line and will be designed to fit your watering needs. What about lawn care? We do that too. Our lawn care services will continue to keep your yard healthy and help it grow. Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping, serving South Central Michigan since 1986. Home is where the heart is, inside and outside. Increase the comfort of your deck or patio with a retractable awning. From Addison Awning in Jackson, the touch of a button turns bright sun into soothing shade and reduces energy costs. Addison Awning is proud to be one of Michigan's largest awning shops with hundreds of fabrics and styles to choose from. Last year's demand created wait times, so order now and be ready for summer. Call Addison Awning in Jackson at 782-8473. That's Addison Awning, 782-8473. 
Asthma Allergy Centers can help you breathe freely. Since 1980, our board-certified specialists have provided testing and treatment for a wide variety of asthma and allergy-related conditions, including immunodeficiencies and skin problems. No referrals are necessary, and we accept any insurance or no insurance. You can even use our mobile app to check in and pay. Come see us at our Jackson office or one of our multiple offices in Southwest Michigan. Our show today is brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings. They're in their third generation of being family owned and operated. Stop by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings today. Joining us now is the director of the Jackson Rose Run, Jeff Beagle. Hi, Jeff. Hi, how are you doing? How's it going? <laughs> the uh, next ORS Running Series event is the Rose Run. Yeah. How many years for the Rose Run? This will be the 53rd. Wow. What? Yep, unbelievable. And is it that is, the longest one we have? I have no idea. I have I no idea. It, I think it's, it's around there. It's the most popular named, I think. Uh, could be. Probably. Could be. Yeah, I think. Maybe. <laughs> I, I think don't know. So. We, we've never ranked the names of them. Have you ever won the Rose Run? No, I haven't. I think the best I ever did was uh, 25th. That's pretty good. I can't believe it. I actually have won the Rose this Run. Is, this is absurd. True but story. This, when they uh, when the race directors blacked out and added rollerblading, yeah, as I remember a category, those days. Yeah, they had one rollerblader. They're, yeah, just no. one. No, there were several. I think there was four. <laughs> I, think, I think Woody Wittenberg was one of them yeah, too. He got second. <laughs> it was a very challenging. It was from Sharp Park all the way out Browns Lake Road to JC. Going uphill on rollerblades is tough it and challenging. Is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have my medal. Congratulations, yes. congratulations. But just runners and walkers this year. Yep, 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 just runners and walkers. We got a 10 mile, a 10K, a 5K, and then the kids race. You can do them all virtual. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Well, those are big differences, the 10 mile, no other uh, ORS event has. No, nope. we, well, that's what the Rose Run was originally. It started as a 10 mile. Really? And only a 10 mile. Back in the 70s, they didn't run a whole bunch of 5Ks. You okay. did 10Ks and 10 milers and 5 milers. So that attracted mostly elite runners. Uh, well, I mean, there was less to do back then. Right. You didn't have all the video games. Soccer wasn't catching in. Yes, you were a runner, baseball. Right. Bat, you know, there was traditional sports more. Sure. Now they got more things to get out There's into. Plenty, plenty to do. But we yeah. put it in a couple of years ago, and the year just for COVID-19, was one of our biggest years. We had over 220 people. We put the 10 miler back in and then COVID hit and everything got jumbled around. And so we're trying to bring it back, all running up and down Browns Lake Road. Cool. Yeah, what's the 10 mile course like? We go around the college, go down the Brown Lake Road to the end, turn around and come on back, finish up. Your uh, uncle, yes. Bill Lundberg won the Rose Run. I believe that. I, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he probably did. So is this a fundraiser? This is for the, um, the JC women's cross, or not cross country, soccer teams now. Ah, cool. Yep, we've got a new, he's Andy Hosmer's gonna be helping us out with it. He's the coach of the women's team. So instead of going to the cross country teams, he's gonna pick it up and we're gonna donate to them. Very cool. So everything's on June 17th. Um, registration is right there. JacksonRoseRun.com, there's everything you need to know. Um, yeah. Again, proceeds are going to the women's soccer team program. Um, we're looking for sponsors, if anybody's interested. Cool. Volunteers. We will be in the Rose Parade. Hey, there's cool. some finishers. Yeah, there's it's, all up, it's all being held on the campus. We got to get back to the campus last year. Mm -hmm. So everything is up to, what do they call that thing up there now? The hangar. It used to be the Space Center. So yeah. everything's up to the hangar. We're gonna do packet pickup up there. The start and finish is there. It's great, because you're up on top of this hill you look around and it's beautiful. How about the campus change over the years too? It right? is amazing, hasn't it? It's unbelievable. And this, uh, in just a few days, they'll be dedicating uh, ribbon cutting and a grand opening of the new baseball and softball complex. That is that is something, yeah. what they've done there. Yeah. Is that uh, Jonathan? I don't have my program. Jonathan, I couldn't uh, tell you. Uh, it is Jonathan. <laughs> good eye. You got a good eye there, Bart. <laughs> The what? spread afterwards, that, I mean, that's one of the things that I think people look forward to. You oh, always, yeah. always. Bagels, bananas, peanut butter, whatever else we can come up with and have out there. 
Have you been training some athletes yourself to compete this week? I haven't, but I was hanging out with some triathletes yesterday that might be looking to getting in, you know, keeping their series points up. Yeah, Jeff, uh, an Ironman how many times? 11. Oh my gosh. Wow. What year did you do your first one? My first one was in, the first attempt was in 88. How hard, I, is, how hard is it, honestly? How, how, how hard <laughs> is it? Um, well, how, how hard is it? How much time do you have? <laughs> it's challenging. Yeah. It's challenging. It's challenging enough if you do the work. It's even more so if you think, well, I can get by and yeah. you're better off doing a little more than necessary for the Ironman than a little less. I've heard that uh, sw swimming, the swimming keeps a lot of people mentally out of it, but swimming can actually be one of the more the Swimming is easy. Yeah. It, swimming is the, it's the shortest part of it, of the, of the whole race. Um, you can be done in an hour, hour and a half. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's, it's harder to learn for some people. And that's the thing. Biking and running, as kids, we all do. Right. But that learning to swim seems, it's not, doesn't seem to be as accessible or as easy to learn. I learned it to why to swim, mm -hmm. but again, I didn't swim. I swam like this, right. basically like a lifeguard. Right. Head out of the water, but it wasn't because it was good form. I didn't know any better. Right. Well, like your uncle, your other uncle, Ted Nicholas, his uh, Iron Man was actually the swimming was in the ocean. Yeah, I just can't believe that. that that's, did it. that's a whole different thing because yeah. you got a little more roll to it. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, we swam in the Gulf of Mexico one year, and yeah, we had two to three foot waves. At some point, you're down here, it's like you're on the water. Then you're up on top with, yeah. oh, I see everybody now. It's fun. Well, good news, no <laughs> swimming in the Rose Run this year. None. <laughs> no. Well, you know, maybe in the future. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Get the Grand River going a little bit. So get signed up now. We want to get return the Rose Run to its uh, huge number. Luster, yes. Yeah, yes. For yes. Sure. yeah, it really is an awesome, awesome event. So if people want to sign up, they should do so now. And uh, uh, what, what's the pro what are the prices? What do you have? Because each of the ORS running series, a, a, a unique prize or, or we uh, haven't or. looked at our prizes yet I know traditionally what we give away is um, gift cards to playmakers nice for the the top um, overall is winners then there's the the medals for the age group winners so we haven't we haven't picked those out yet but we should soon I should, should have brought a, a I'll bring a sample next time should all be right. a uh, great event great sponsors as always for another ORS, ORS is our main sponsor right now if anybody else wants to get on board, give us a call. We'll see you on uh, June 17th at June Jackson 17th. College. Thanks, Thanks Jeff. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff Beagle, director, race director of the Jackson Rose Run. A uh, big anniversary coming up. We'll hear about it with our next guests next. I know pain, the one that starts at your ankles, settling in your back, keeping you from competing. Sydney, 2000, preparing to compete, my leg wouldn't move, my dream interrupted. The team chiropractor knew exactly what to do. I went from out of the game to in competition in three days. Today, I am a chiropractor, relieving the pain, enhancing performance. Go to beyondthepain.org to find a chiropractor or learn how to become one. To perform your best, high school athletes and their families can receive a complimentary consultation by visiting docpen.com. At Michigan Center Schools, we guide every student in the direction of their dreams. We believe that when our students feel loved and respected, there's no limit to what they can accomplish. We offer fantastic facilities, academic excellence, one-to-one -one technology, and multi-tiered social-emotional supports. We believe we get the most out of our students when we prioritize relationships above all else. Michigan Center Schools, where your kids are our family. There are many different kinds of noses. Our noses can sniff out all kinds of things. Good things and bad things. Your nose knows if those sniffles are just a cold, allergies, or COVID-19. So swab it. Test it. It's good to know. 
Experience a community-centered school district where a small town feeling meets a modern education. Join Ezra E.B. Elementary, where your child is treasured. Napoleon students enjoy a supportive approach to meet their social and academic needs. From our young fives in our all-day kindergarten programs to our expanded elementary curriculum, join Napoleon Community Schools, home of the Pirates. Your child's adventure begins at napoleonschools.org. Coming up this weekend, it's the Jackson County Rose Parade, which signals the official start to summer, presented by Art Main. It is Sunday, June 4th, the 23 theme, Home Sweet Home. And Braden Lape will be the Grand Marshal, so should be a wild turnout for Braden. That's this Sunday. And live on JTV. That's right, live on JTV. Our next guest, we welcome from Grand River Brewery, COO Bryce Davenport, and Executive Chef Vince Strollis. Good morning, guys. Morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Great. How are you guys? Well, we're doing great. So Fantastic. we just kind of talked a little bit about this, the kickoff to summer. Uh, summer would not be complete without GRB and the litany of events you guys <laughs> have going on. <laughs> totally. There's so it's, much. It's awesome. So much. What's, so, uh, what's first? What is first? So June, well, there's, we're just added, we just added something on June 13th. Uh, it's the country idol okay. uh, with Cumulus Radio. Okay. Um, so we'll be a, a hosting site for them to have like a singing competition. So that's probably going to be first, but the okay. big shindig is June 17th. That's our 10 year anniversary. Right. 10. Wow. That's, that's crazy. Ten Easy. Yeah. 10 years. So yeah, pig roast outside, um, live music inside, outside. Um, it's $25, all you can eat buffet, so Perfect. come hungry, right? We've got a bouncy house for the kids. Uh, awesome. You know, we're, we're just trying to make it a really fun event for Jackson. How old were you when uh, Grand River <clears throat> Brewery started, Vince? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, I would say 23. Okay. 23. Wow. Mm -hmm. 23. Don't just just a baby. Yeah. Just a baby. It seems like <clears throat> yesterday we were just going through Cools the last week. Yeah. They were open getting pretzel sandwiches, and yeah. it's amazing. And the concrete floor collapsed. Remember that? Uh, I don't remember that. Yeah, they poured the first concrete floor. Oh, yeah. The, you didn't yeah. want to be here for that. No. <laughs> no. It was yeah. very challenging. Very challenging. The, uh, the founder, uh, John Burka. Yeah, it was at GRB. the time. Yeah, it was yeah. at the time. So the executive chef, what are some of the things that uh, you've brought to, to the menu? Um, to the menu, I we wanted to take more of a full approach, obviously, with the pizza side of it. Uh, you know, we've really concentrated a lot on our wood fire, um, really perfecting, you know, there's, there's a really good technique that goes behind mm -hmm. that and uh, being able to put out like very consistent wood fire pizzas uh, is great. And then we've been really heavily basically training up and coaching like all of a lot of new weekly specials yeah. um, that we do um, as well as, you know, looking at our menu, adding new items, um, seeing what our guests love, really love and really keeping it and really like honing in on what we want to do great all the time, weekly, mm -hmm. daily. Um, yeah, I, I'm not a weekly special person. I like to get the same thing every time. You're a weekly special. <laughs> I'm kind of similar to that. He, he likes a week, you don't mind a weekly special. I want to know what the weekly special is. But you'll is. never get it. <laughs> oh, but you won't ever get it? But there are folks that come just for the weekly specials. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, right, like Vince being our culinary chef, kind of overseeing all these establishments, it's kind of like, it. from what I gather, and not being here at Grand Brewery, is that we used to have fun. The menu used to be fun. It used to be eclectic, it used to be fun. We can still use really great ingredients like we're using now, but you know, how can we make the menu fun, not only for our staff, but you know, for mm -hmm. our guests. So you know, you'll see uh, this week, we'll probably um, kick off like a Nashville hot month that'll have different specials that uh, you know, include Nashville hot chicken as the theme and, and things like that. So like, oh, nice. if you're a spicy that. lover, great, come in this month and then we'll switch it up in July and so like just kind of getting back to the basics of just having fun. I would order the hot chicken. I would too. So would you I would nice. love that. I would okay. love that. Sweet. Now Bryce, when I first met you, uh, you told me a little bit about your background. You had a lot of background in Italian restaurants mm -hmm. and I was suggesting that you need the spaghetti and meatballs. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, we're trying it at Veritas. Yes, we are trying. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. Veritas yep. one day. So Bryce is the CEO over uh, all the restaurants in yep. the, uh, the big family. So you're spending a lot of time. Definitely bored. 
<laughs> all the time. Bored. No, so I'm just joking. Yeah, it's, it's a lot to keep up with. It is. Let's. Uh, we've got Feast in the Field coming up. Feast in the Field is coming up, uh, like a Polynesian kind of theme. Cool. Um, I think it's a 200 ticket kind of limit and we're at about 140. Okay. So, I mean, there's limited seats available, but it's going to be a really fun time cooking out in the field. Okay. I'm sure Vince will be there with Justin and, oh, yeah. and all of our other executive chefs. Um, I know I've got to get my tickets, so... Yeah, you know, same with you. Yeah, so. yeah. You got to get your ticket. <laughs> yeah, well, the lady, the lady at home. Yeah, yeah. I was going yeah. to get her a ticket. Yeah. She doesn't know yet. What's the most know. underrated thing on the menu? The underrated thing on the, the menu. Most underrated thing at Grand River. Yeah. Um, you know what? I would it's say. Tough. Yeah, I know that is it's tough. an interesting question. We've re- it is it is. Um, yeah. I would say since I've started, I'll I'll lean back into it. But I think it has been a lot of our pizzas and stuff like yeah. that. Um, mm-hmm. really. A lot of our guests might not even know that it's coming out of a wood fire oven, right. um, which a lot of people don't do. I don't even know if there's anyone in the area who does wood fire pizzas. No, um, I don't think anymore. You know, I don't think there is. It's so good. Um, I so, eat the whole thing. I never take any of it yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, sure. you get a nice crispy crust and like, it's yeah, just- it's so good. Perfect, yeah. Uh, later this month, you've got a uh, concert on the uh, Grand River yeah. patio. July 30th, man, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be crazy. Um, so we've got Jason Cross and Sadie Bass uh, performing um, underneath the awning. Um, the whole parking lot will be closed. Um, $10 admission tickets to come see the concert. Um, we're working with Hunter over at West Texas Barbecue. We're gonna have a little barbecue battle. So he's gonna oh, have yeah. the smokers in the parking lot. We'll have our smokers <laughs> oh, in the yeah. parking lot. Um, you know, people can buy samples and, and do that. Well, it's just literally gonna be a really fun day with a lot of stuff going on. So cool. the front parking lot will focus on the on the live music. There's a cornhole tournament um, that's being held by Dad Bod Baggers, um, which is gonna be pretty crazy. Um, and then in the back parking lot, I think we're getting another bouncy house. Um, uh, I, there might be pony rides available oh, in that perfect. back parking lot for kids. <laughs> Um, and then I'm trying to talk Justin into getting a dunk tank so him and I can I think that's a great the dunk tank, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I it think should be a warm day. I'm I think sure. our amazing staff would love the opportunity to dunk this a couple times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vince, did you get a hard time uh, in your job interview at Grand River Brewery with a Miller High Life bottle tattooed on your wrist? <laughs> I think I had a couple people compliment me, so, um, <laughs> yeah. you know. We do not I think serve that. that. Yeah. No. So yeah, no. what's your favorite thing to make? What's my favorite thing to make? Um, so with what we do with a lot of our homemade breads uh, out of our Grand River Bakery, um, I'm a deli guy. I love a good old school like New York Jewish deli. Um, so seeing like our Rubens, our turkey, um, our corned beef Reuben, I'm a simple guy, but like you do it right. It's perfect, um, you get yeah. a nice crispy bread and like it's baked daily. Um, so like just having a really, really great Reuben change my day around yeah, um so I like that's that. honestly <laughs> like sometimes that's what i enjoy making for people as well that's awesome. cool yeah the 10th anniversary i can't believe it's been 10 years but uh <laughs> grand river brewery uh is credited by many in this community as uh the start of the the downtown renaissance and uh it's so great the whole community is uh so thrilled that it's still going strong yep. and is a, a real uh real real cornerstone of the downtown yeah. yeah, it's a great place to take people from out of town too, which knows, what, I mean, that's how you know you've got a great spot, right? Totally. Yeah, we made some mistakes, right? Like, I mean, I've been here almost seven months now and mm-hmm. like talking to guests that come in and, and listening to feedback, you know, we've we've made mistakes, right? There's been um, things that we've done wrong. And so I think, you know, Vince and our and Justin's focus is really just kind of go back to basics, right? Mm-hmm. Let's worry about consistency. Um, let's focus on hospitality and you know, we will win people back. We will gain their trust back. And that's really, I mean, at the end of the day, that's all that, yeah. that it is. Rest, I mean, restaurant like people. Grand right. River's been obviously a huge community-based, like, brewery, restaurant for as long as it has. And really getting back to that even more. And like Bryce was saying, talking about the hospitality, listening to our guests, mm-hmm. uh, what their needs are, what we could always be doing better. I mean, like, that's what we really want to improve on. We want to improve daily. Yeah. Awesome. What's really neat too is Grand River Brewery brings a lot of people to to Jackson. Mm-hmm. It does. A lot. It's a destination. Yeah. Yep. And uh, you put on a great uh, impression, and the rest it's up to the rest of us to uh, keep people coming back. That's right. That's yeah. Right. That's, that's right. right. And we appreciate everyone's trust and faith that they've put in us for ten years. I mean, Agreed. without them, uh, 
it wouldn't be a 10 year anniversary, right? Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I think, you know, really the goal with this 10 year anniversary is just how can we give back to Jackson? How can we get Jackson involved in the town of Jackson and the guests of Jackson to come celebrate with us, right? I mean, yeah. that's really it. Without them, we wouldn't be there. So, yeah. so it's gonna be a really cool event. We're excited about it. All right, it sounds like a summer of fun at GRB. Thanks guys. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you for having us, appreciate yeah. it. Executive Thanks. Chef, Vince Strollis, and COO, Bryce Davenport. Uh, the morning show continues after this. Over time, we've seen more and more people frustrated with their dental benefits. They thought that because they had dental insurance, they'd be well taken care of. Well, that's exactly what the insurance companies want you to believe. They figure out a way to collect your premiums while continuing to limit your choice of doctor and your choice of treatment. There's not one company better than the others. They've created an environment where dentists diagnose treatment or recommend care based upon your insurance dollars available. That's not the way people should be treated and we think there's a better way. We put the interest of you and your family first. We take the time with you to figure out how to get the care you need, whether it's with your insurance or not. We are Dentistry by Design, and our mission is to make excellent dental care a joy. Please call, visit the website, or drop by the office. We'd love to answer any questions you may have. And be sure to ask about our exclusive membership program to help you save on the cost of your dental care. Cascades Humane Society is excited to announce the 2023 Pause in the Park, presented by Lammers Heating and Air Conditioning. This year, the fun will be had at Cascade Falls Park on Saturday, June 3rd. The event will feature a 5K run and walk for both people and dogs, and a shorter wolf walk is available along with Kids Doggy Dash. The popular Ultimate Air Dogs will be back. The premier dog dock diving company where dogs run off a dock and are judged based on how far they jump in the pool. Your own dogs can compete. Also included will be vendors to shop, food to purchase, kids activities, pony rides, a petting zoo and a vaccine clinic. Visit chspets.org for more information. The classics are a king at Marshall Motors in Jackson. It's a blast from the past with over 100 hot rods, muscle cars, and classic rides waiting for you at 4500 Ann Arbor Road. We buy, sell, or trade used in project vehicles. Payments and layaway plans are also available. Check out our inventory online at marshallmotorsclassics.com. Cruise on in and walk our lot. Check out our old-fashioned gas station and picture yourself in a classic car or truck of your dreams. Marshall Motors, a blast from the past. Best summer ever. Amazing summers start at the Jackson YMCA. Campers never want the summer to end at the Jackson YMCA. Kids look forward to 10 weeks of fun, packed with activities, games, water fun, sports, field trips, and so much more. Your camper will make new friends, learn and laugh. Fun for kids, peace of mind for you. Sign up for your favorite theme week or join us all summer long. Register today at jacksonymca.org. Welcome back to the morning show on JTV. Last week we had the Zero Bar and Lounge uh, ribbon cutting. It was very cool. I saw Jacob Soper out there. He redid that horse trailer for Jaws Nelly. It's very wow. nice. It's cool. Yeah, the ironwork is uh, amazing. And I had one of their drinks at Dr. Penn's uh, 30th anniversary party. What a cool uh, business and, and clearly there's a home there's a home for zero bar here so it's yeah. awesome congratulations to them and More we're proud to do their home. website yeah. yeah we did their website yeah we did do we have a crane cam do we have a crane shot no we don't have a crane oh, shot today we, have a crane shot. we do not have All the right. crane shot hey join us tomorrow tomorrow morning wednesday chrissy siders will be with us from true community credit union we will also have melissa burgett from ors with jacob innocencio we're going to be talking Mighty Mile, and then later today on Bart Show, Kelby Wallace, Shane Menard, Tim Booth, Robbie Bolton, and Susan Panak, and Maddie O'Neill, who is Miss Jackson County Teen USA, and Road pay, Rose Parade promotion. More at one o'clock. <laughs>
Today on Food Circus, it's time